can only imagine us both loving through the night I can only imagine us together side by side I can only imagine a world dancing in the moonlight I can only imagine I can only imagine Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before I forget, happy Valentine's Day, early Valentine's Day to you guys. <laughs> so today I wanted to film the sultry Valentine's Day look for you guys. This is a very sultry, smoky look. <laughs> this is the third Valentine's Day look that I'm doing for you. Um, I will link the other two down below, so make sure to check those out. And while you're checking out my other videos, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button while you're at it. And yes, I am currently under the weather right now, not feeling too great. So that is why my voice sounds a little weird. This look actually has two lip options for you guys. A really pretty nude, and for those vampy valentines out there, I wanted to do a very dark vampy lip as well. So, if you guys are interested, just keep on watching. Alrighty, so first I'm going to prime my eyelids using this Urban Decay Primer Potion. And then I'm going to set down the primer with this Flesh Tone Eyeshadow from my Morphe 25A palette, which I believe is also called the Copper Spice palette. Next, I'm taking this warm peachy shade from the same palette and using this as my transition shade. As a base for my eyeshadow, I'm using this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. And taking a clean fluffy brush, I'm just going to try and get rid of any harsh edges using windshield wiper motions. And this makeup look will look uh, pretty messy in the beginning, but don't worry, we will clean up everything. Now jumping into my Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette, I'm going to apply this deep red shade called Saffron all over my lids with patting motions using a flat shader brush. You want to really pack that pigment on there because this shade is the star of the show. I'm also blending this shade into the crease as well. And then again, taking a clean crease brush, blend out any harsh edges. And take your time with this process. These intense looks require a lot of blending, but don't worry, it will all be worth it. For a little bit more dimension, I decided to add the color Oud on the outer crease. Then taking a black eyeshadow, I'm going to really intensify the look by placing it in the outer corner and fading it into about halfway into the crease. Next, for the bottom lash line, I'm just going to use the same colors we used on top. So first going in with saffron, then oud, and just a touch of black on the outer bottom lash line to connect the top and the bottom together. Now I'm taking this black pencil from Lord & Barry and lining my waterline and tight line as well. I wanted the entire eye look to be completely matte, so for my brow bone, I'm just using this matte cream shade in Desert Sand. To fill in my eyebrows, I'm using the Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks. Then I'm going to create a wing using my NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner. And with the eyeliner, I created a beak shape in the inner corner for a more cat eye, sultry eye shape. And since I wanted my eyes fully matte, I went over the liner with black eyeshadow because I did not have any matte eyeliner, so I had to improvise. Next, I curled my lashes and applied this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. 
I then went in with a Q-tip dipped in makeup remover to clean up the look of it. For primer, I used this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And then for foundation, I used this Sephora foundation in beige or number 25. And I mixed this in with uh, this Temp2 and BoxyCharm liquid highlighter in liquid glow. And of course, for concealer, I used my Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey. I set down the concealer with this Ofra Cosmetics Banana Powder. And to set the rest of my face, I used this Physician's Formula Argan Wear Bronzer in Light Bronzer. Then, to contour my face, I used this Highlight and Contour Palette by IBY Beauty. For blush, I'm using this Physician's Formula Blush in Blushing Natural. To highlight my face, I'm going in with this beautiful Bronze and Brighten Palette by Pure Cosmetics, and I'm using the middle shade. To make everything look as seamless as possible, I'm just taking this big fluffy brush from Royal and Langnickel and lightly brushing it all over my face. So, like I said before, I have two lip options for you. The first one is this nude combo. So I'm first going in with this Maybelline Matte Lipstick in Daringly Nude, and then going over top with this Flower Beauty Lip Lacquer in Plastic Nude. And oh my gosh, I totally forgot about my lashes. So I added these super full Ardell lashes. Unfortunately, there is no name, but I think it's the style number 33. Now for the second lip option, I'm using another Maybelline matte lipstick. This one is called Divine Wine. And for a little bit more dimension, I placed this Maybelline matte lipstick in Rich Ruby right in the center. And finally, to lock in the look, I'm using this Spray Set and Go Setting Spray by Project Beauty. Alright guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! I actually had... I actually want... This makeup... <clears throat> I...